Hi, yeah, hi. Today I'm gonna show you the integration between KNX and Philips U via Node Red. Let's start. First of all, you need to install the palette KNX Ultimate. Click to install to install the palette. Then just search for U and on the left drag U Light. I'm gonna show you all U nodes and we start with U Light. With U Light you can control your U Light. Just select the KNX gateway here and the U bridge here. For the U bridge, just set the U bridge EP and slam to connect. Follow the instruction to get ready. Then we gonna select our light to be controlled. For example, light garage. Then below we have several tabs to search, to select for. For example, for a basic usage, select switching. Here select the group address, KNX group address, that will control the light. In this case, the light is controlled by a boolean switch 1001 and click deploy and you are done. Now by changing this group address value between true and false your light will turn off and on. Let's try. For example, we can set a KNX node because I don't have a switch, physical switch here, but this is the same. True and false and the light switches on and off. Let's see the other options. Near switch we have the switch status group address. Self-explicative. We set the state of our status of the light. Every time this light is changed by for example a KNX uh, button or um, HomeKit or uh, Alexa or Google Home app, the group address will have the same status as the light. Below we have uh, the switch on color brightness option. At switch on we can choose to uh, whether uh, set the brightness and color last set on the U lamp or by default to have a full bright and full white light. The, la the color is controlled by the red, green and blue properties of this design and between 0 and 255. Two, Other than that we can choose the night lighting. Uh, the night lighting is useful at night, when someone woke up and go to the bathroom, for example, uh, the light will not turn off for brightness, for brightness, but will turn on uh, dimmed by this option. The default brightness option is this one, <clears throat> and this uh, very dimmed light with, with uh, reddish color. Uh, 
and uh, we have uh, a day night group address. This group address, uh, if true, uh, sets the day. If false, uh, sets the night. Um, you can invert this value by clicking here. Move on to the dim brightness tab. It's the same, the dim is the same. Uh, dim. The dimming uh, works uh, uh, for um, a button, uh, for the standard KNX button uh, that have the dimming function. We have the brightness. This is uh, the group address of the, of the absolute brightness uh, from 0 to 100% brightness. And the brightness status. Brightness status group address. Uh, these fields are, are optional. We can leave all of these fields uh, blank if, don't, if we don't use that. Okay. Uh, let's move on to enable to enable white. To enable white. To enable white works with uh, a dimming control. So um, it's useful for uh, uh, simplicity uh, and for uh, to be able to reuse uh, the button on the wall, the KNX button on the wall. So you keep pressing to uh, make the uh, light reddish and uh, keep pressing again to make the light bluish. bluish. And we have the tunable white status. In this case, is a percentage, okay? Zero to 100. Um, all the things uh, that I say you in this video you can find here this is the complete help let's move on to the color same things the colors accept uh, a triplet red, red game green blue colors like this one for example mm. uh, and the color status again uh, the same things color status group address Move on to the effects. These are uh, built-in effects into Node uh, U, Node Light of Node Red. So uh, both of them uh, now are FXR2 uh, in this version works with every light because they are in build, built in. We have the blink. Uh, by sending on to this group address, the light, the light will start blinking uh, on and off. Uh, the color cycle, uh, when a true is sent to this group address, uh, the light will start to color cycle every 10 seconds. This is useful to make some effects in your room. Uh, every 10 seconds it changes the color to a random one. Move on, uh, behavior, leave uh, yes to link brightness to on off switch, leave yes um, unless you need to do some particular uh, scenarios where uh, you don't need to link brightness uh, to an on off switch. Uh, so normally uh, a brightness major than zero will send an on on the group address status of the switch. Otherwise, we'll send a false. Uh, by leaving this, uh, by switching this or this no, uh, this no doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. Okay, for the light is all. Uh, let's move on to the next one, and this U button. U button is uh, something like this that turn on and off the light okay or is that this is a um, tap deal uh, switch where uh, you do where uh, you have four click ball switches and a rotary switch uh, yes a rotary deal a rotary deal tap deal rotary deal uh, 
this node uh, button uh, lets you control these four switches and this type of switch every switch so every service named switch for the control of the ring um, we uh, need to use another node that we show you later link button this is very simple same story knx gateway knx and u bridge for the button we select uh, for example this tap dl button uh, we have four uh, switches uh, for see yes well, for button and uh, select one and uh, the switch group address that turn on and off every time we switch this one and the switch status the switch status uh, uh, is useful to do a um, toggle okay uh, so the the switch know exactly uh, the status of the group address and can send a true or false uh, if someone if you have more than one switch to turn on the light this is beautiful okay uh, then we have the dim uh, same story long press to dim long press to dim up and long press to dim down dim down and we have the toggle values. Uh, every time you switch the button, uh, you turn the switch on the light or off the light. Same, way, same things for dimming, dimming up and dimming down. Move on to the next one, U motion. This controls the U uh, motion sensors. Uh, the motion part because the motion sensor uh, has made uh, for example for uh, of a motion sensor a light sensor and a temperature sensor in this with this uh, node we can uh, uh, trap the motion events for the other two we are we have two other nodes to use let's see the u sensor movement in the kitchen and the motion group address that is which one every time a motion is detected a true event will fire move on to the next one and the top dl okay top dl is this one dl is the service this event this uh, node controls this uh, ring Tap DL, DL. Same things, Connex, KNX, Gateway, U Bridge, uh, Tap Device, Rotary, Tap. You see this one is Rotary, this is called Service that you use to um, uh, identify a service, in this case a Rotary. Uh, rotate. On the group address rotate, we have a dimming control uh, that work uh, by sending k and x uh, group address to this group address k and x telegram to start switch on if turn it uh, right, and when you stop, uh, the node sends. Uh, KNX, a KNX command to stop dim and uh, if you turn this uh, counterclockwise a uh, KNX uh, uh, telegram again uh, start dimming down uh, is sent and when you stop um, rotating this one a KNX telegram of stop dim is sent again it works like this for example like this then we have a percentage percentage uh, percentage works uh, um, doesn't care of dimming function of knx but instead sends a value between 0 and 10 uh, 
uh, uh, when we uh, turn this ring. Okay, clockwise increase and counterclockwise decrease. Then we have RGB color. RGB color uh, work is work by changing uh, the color of the light uh, to a random one uh, if uh, turned on the right. So every time we turn this uh, on the right, uh, a color changes to random one. When if turned left, the color changes to white. For the rotary is all. Let's move on to U sensor, U light sensor. Same things uh, in this uh, node. We mm, we check the light level of the you know, of our mo motion sensor in looks. We need a group address and mm, to handle the, the looks. Looks, not lux. Lux is English, but uh, looks is Latin, and uh, uh, we must uh, uh, pronounce as looks in Latin, older than English. Uh, move on to temperature sensor. Same things, gateway and bridge, our temperature, uh, and the group address is a, a group address temperature. So um, this sensor will send a temperature to our group address. Okay, done. Move on to the last one, as and is. Uh, Last one is the scene control. Uh, this node can recall a scene stored in your hub. Same things, uh, gateway, bridge, the scene, uh, energy. Recall as we have recall as active, as dynamic, so the scene's play is moving or static, the scene remain, uh, remain static. And we have our group address that starts the scene. It's a boolean, okay? Uh, so it's done, it's all for now. So um, again, uh, you, if you have uh, some questions, just uh, ask here below this video, or you can open an issue on uh, GitHub because this software is full open source. And uh, I will be glad to answer your question. Thank you for watching my video. Bye bye. Next, at the next time.